Hey, good morning and welcome back to Lithium Valley Rocks Prospecting. My name's Andrew and this is Bridgetown, Western Australia. I thought I'd come back down to the Blackwood River today and show you my nifty hydrocyclone that I've made. I went up the tip and found an old Weber and converted it after I saw a blue bowl. I thought that was a pretty good idea. Um, I don't have much water in my river most of the time, so running a river sluice is a bit hard. So I thought I'd try and make a cyclone that uses a bit less water and I can just dump my classified gravel in here and spin it down and then pan out the con concentrates. And on the discharge I've got some Y sections from a 90mm pint and that just acts as a little bit of an extra trap just to make sure that I've got all the gold. So I've got 100 litres of gravel this morning. I've got a classifier down. So that's going to take me a little while so I'll just get started on that. And when I've got all that gravel classified, I'll fire up the cyclone and show you how it works. Okay, so I've classified down all my material. And from that 100 litres, I'm back down to about 60. So that's quite a bit oversized. That's on a, a half inch classifier. I'll just show you what my gravel looks like. It's quite a bit of quartzite and feldspar and a lot of ironstone and some of these mafic and ultramafic rocks that's rocks with a lot of iron in got a neodymium magnet here so there's a lot of ultramafic intrusions in the area a lot of dolerite as well which is a, a mafic rock and you see some of it's been quite altered there's little garnets popping up in that one the other thing I've found is when you get down to these flat rocks uh, that's quite near the bottom or on the bottom right on the, the basement clay or the bedrock so when they land on the bottom they're quite resistant to flow it takes quite a bit to kick them up in the current and turn them over whereas big chunky rocks they tend to roll around a bit but start feeding the cyclone now and I'll set it up on a, a tripod and watch what happens.
So that's all 60 litres scooped in there. Now I'll just pull out some of this ironstone that's on top. And what's left in there is 95% ironstone in the oversize. Let me show you how much black sand we've got here. It's a crazy amount of black sand. One little colour there, one little speck of gold. And this is from just the ironstone that I was pulling out with my hand. I've pulled out two little bits of gold there. Two little colours there. One more. So we had three colours in the trap at the bottom and then one in the pan. Now we'll go and do the cyclone and see what was in that.
and you can see the gold there So out of that cyclone we've got a full 10 litres, just ironstone there. And there we go. If you can see the gold just there. It's not crazy amounts of gold. It's not crazy amounts of gold. And most of it's like a, a grain of salt that's been hit with a hammer. But really I was just testing out the cyclone to show you. And we had what? Four bits that went through and we got caught in the catcher at the end. And then we got all these. There's probably about a hundred little colours there. Some are quite small, some bigger bits. Uh, when I get home, I'll clean it up a bit more and show you then. So I'm back home and there's the gold all cleaned up. Like I said, it's not crazy gold, but it's pretty good for southwest WA, which isn't known for its gold. And a lot of it's pretty small, but... You know, gold's gold. Just while I've got you here, check out these honking tourmalines. That giant feldspar crystal. And that muscovite. So this is a lithium valley rock. So we're going to stick a close up of the gold. And we'll catch you next time. Don't forget to share, like, subscribe and hit the bell. Cheers.